hey guys hi welcome back so today we will be solving the questions of jess and this is the third part of jess solutions of thermodynamics so the first thing i would like to add here is that i had made a mistake in writing the question numbers and while telling so the video was already recorded so i have not deleted it and reshooted it so i request you that please follow the question numbers written and do not see what is said okay so just follow the written question numbers and uh, so let's start with the first question which is the question number 15 okay here what is said what is the contribution of the conduction electrons in the molar entropy of a metal with electron of coefficient of specific heat so we have to just say the conduction electrons contribution in the molar entropy of metal okay and with what we have to say with the electronic coefficient of specific heat so we know that what the total molar we know what this is very clear this is a direct formula okay the total the total molar specific heat of metal okay at low temperature we will consider okay at low temperature is it is giving cv will be equals to what cv of the electrons plus what cv of low temperature so finally you can write for electrons it is gamma t plus for low temperatures is a t to the power 3 or you can write it to be cv by t it is equals to what gamma plus a t square so you can see this term the first term it is giving the contribution of conduction electrons right so your answer will be gamma t one more thing i will say you here this is an additional knowledge okay this is additional thing i'm saying you here how you will get the value of gamma in this particular thing okay whenever you will draw a graph of cv by t okay versus t square then it will give you a straight line right the graph of cv by t versus t square it will give you a straight line and the intercept of the vertical axis axis okay what intercept of vertical axis okay it will give the coefficient gamma the value of gamma you can calculate or you can get it from there okay the intercept of vertical axis will give you gamma all right so now let's come to the next question so let's see question number now nine here what it is said if the mean square fluctuations in energy of a system in equilibrium at temperature t it is proportional to t to the power alpha it is said the mean square fluctuation of energy okay fluctuation in energy of a system which is in thermal equilibrium and the temperature is t that then the mean and the so now let's see question number nine okay what is given here that the mean square fluctuations in energy of a system in equilibrium whose temperature is what t it is proportional to t to the power alpha means the mean square energy fluctuation it is proportional to t to the power alpha then you have to calculate the energy of the system is proportional to what temperature so this is very simple you have to just calculate if the mean square fluctuation in energy is proportional to t to the power alpha then the energy of the system will be proportional to what okay so we have the formula for delta e square it is proportional to what it is proportional to t to the power 2 cv okay in the question it is said the mean square fluctuation it is proportional to what t to the power alpha right now when you will compare these two terms you can write what cv t square it will be proportional to what t to the power this t square t to the power alpha right so it will give you cv is proportional to what t to the power alpha minus 2 here the you actually you can write it delta e whole square it is equals to k t square cv k is the proportionality constant okay so i'm using the proportionality symbol because we need to find the proportionality of energy now you see cv means what del u by del t proportional to what t to the power alpha minus 2 so energy u it will be proportional to what just integrate this term t to the power alpha minus 2 dt so when you will integrate this term you will give it to what t to the power alpha minus 2 plus 1 right so u is proportional to t to the power alpha minus 1 
so the correct option is option c you can just see just read what is given in the question put the formula and just do the simplification correctly and you will get your answer put the number of microstates available to a system of n particles means a system is there which is having how much n particles so the number of microstates it is depending upon what u v square right where u is the internal energy use the energy v is the volume of the system this sentence means if the number of microstate is given by omega and it is said it is depending on what it is depending on the number of particles that is n and the combined variable of what u v square that means the number of microstates is what n u v square u is the internal energy v is the volume here right so this is the number of microstates for this particular system secondly what it is said the system initially has volume how much 2 cubic meter means initial volume is vi it is how much 2 meter cube right and energy is how much 200 joule so the initial energy is given to you 200 joule okay energy means u it is given to you 200 joule right now it is undergoing an entropic expansion it is having what entropic expansion to volume how much 4 cubic meter so you can consider the final volume to be how much 4 meter cube so you have to calculate the final pressure what you need to calculate is pf final okay so to calculate pf final you will need what you will need some terms right so if omega is equals to the number of microstates is equals to this so from this what you can write s s is equals as the entropy we know the entropy is what n k ln of the number of microstates right so s will be equals to what n k ln of u v square okay the question is very simple the number of microstates is given to you right the initial volume the final volume is given to you the energy is given to you you need to find the final pressure so to do this first we will use the first law of thermodynamics from there we will get the relationship of pressure okay so first law of thermodynamics says as what dq it is equals to what du plus p dv right that is w this is dw okay i have just substituted the value now dq will be equals to what tds equals to du plus pdv okay so from this what you will get del s by del v so del s by del u okay at constant how much volume it will be equals to what 1 by t right if you will differentiate this complete term then you will get what del s by del u at constant volume keeping this term to be constant then you will get del s by del u is equals to 1 by t right and also what you can write one more thing you can write if you write del s by del v this time if you do del v then at constant what u then you will get it to be what p by t now you will differentiate the entropy first with respect to u so when you will do so what you will get this is n k differentiating this particular term ln of anything is 1 by u v square into v it is differentiation with respect to what internal energy so you will get here what v square will be what constant and this will give you 1 right so this v square will cancel with this v square okay so finally you will have what you will have here u is equals to what n k t okay so this particular equation i am considering it to be 1 now the next one you have to differentiate the entropy with respect to v this time so n k this is constant right when you will differentiate the ln term then first you will get uv square but again on differentiating uv square u is constant and this will give you twice v so if you see this one we will cancel here u will also cancel and finally you will have what here what you will get pv taking this v to the left hand side okay pv will be equals to what this time twice of n k t so this particular equation i'm just putting a mark okay i'm taking it to be equation 2 okay so when you will use this equation na i'm doing it here equation 1 and equation 2 it will give you what directly what you can write 
just see here you will do nothing you will let pv is equals to twice of u because u is equals to what nkt so from this equation you can find the pressure the initial one okay so pressure is equals to what 2u by how much b so p will be equals to what this is the initial pressure okay this is the initial pressure this is the initial volume okay so p i you will get here so if you see here 2 with energy is how much 200 the initial volume is how much 2 so this 2 and this 2 will cancel and you will get the initial pressure to be how much 200 atmosphere okay now we have to calculate what we need to calculate the final pressure right so to calculate the final pressure what we guys will be doing we will have to calculate that na because this we are getting the initial pressure here we need to calculate what you need to calculate the final pressure so to do so we will come back to the question okay what is given us to in the question in the question we were dealing with what we were dealing with the fact that the expansion is what the expansion is iso the expansion is what entropy so isoentropic okay this will be isoentropic here something was missing out this will be isoentropic okay i am correcting it here i am correcting here okay this will be iso i am doing it from right red pen okay that was a typing mistake so i hope you can see so what we need to calculate is that the final pressure right so for this we will use this concept here in the question we are given that the process is what it is iso entropy so whenever the process is iso entropy okay the process is iso entropy right that means what dq will be equals to 0 or you can write it is equals to tds means dq or tds both are equals to 0 so when you will use the first law first law is what this is the first law right first law means what dq is equals to what du plus dw right that means dq this will become zero it is equals to what du plus pdv you can write dw to be equals to this one so this will finally give you what del u by how what del v at constant what entropy it will be equals to what minus p you can just do it and see du by del v okay you can write one more step here the du it is equals to minus p d v okay so you can write here what del u by del v at constant s so this is the relationship that we are having here and now we will use equation 3 what was our equation 3 i will write it here again the equation 3 which we got equation 3 was p v it is equals to what twice of u right this was the equation that we were having is it clear to you p v it was equals to twice of u so from this if you see what you will write this was the equation number 3 okay so now what we will do we will solve this term del u by del v at constant s okay so from this what you will get i am doing it here okay now you see del u by del v so from this equation if you get u is equals to what pv by 2 this is u so do del u by del v so what you will get first 1 by 2 is the constant term right so when you will first differentiate v then you will have only p plus next keeping v constant you will have what del p by del v is it clear just you have used equation 3 and you got the internal energy u and you are using q in this equation so this is equals to minus p this will give you the final pressure okay keep in mind so this will be what p by 2 this will be plus what you will have here v by 2 del p by del v this is equals to minus p so just do the simplification you will have what v by 2 del p by del v it is equals to what minus p minus p by p so that means this right hand side will be equals to what minus what you will have 
if you will take minus p, this term you are this is two. What you will get minus three p by two. So this two from the left hand side, this two from this side, it will get cancelled, and finally we you will have what? You can write it as del p by p. It is equals to what? Minus sign will be as it is, right? Here you will have what? Three will be as it is del v by v. Because this v will come in the right hand side. Okay. So now, what you will see when you will integrate this term? Okay. When you will do the integration? Okay. This complete integration, if you do del p by p, it is equals to what? Minus three is constant. Integration of del v by d. So this will give you what? L n p in the left hand side, and in the right hand side you will have minus three L n v, right? So you can write it as what? L n p. This will give you what? Plus L n v cube, right? Equals to zero. Because minus three is the power, no? Okay. So minus three, if you bring in the left hand side. This minus sign I'm keeping as it is. This is minus l n log v. Minus I'm keeping as it is. I'm taking v cube. So minus sign came to the left hand side. Then it became positive. And finally you will have here. What you will have? L n p plus this term I'm doing here. Okay. So this is done here. You can see l n p and you are getting what v cube. It is equals to what zero. So when you will solve this equation, what you will have? P v cube. It will be equals to what? It will be equals to constant. On solving, you will get this. It is constant. That means what? It means that what? P I initial, V I initial means the pressure initial and the volume initial cube. It is will be equals to what? P F V F cube, right? So the P F final you can calculate it from this equation. P I V I cube by P F cube. So we will just put the value. The initial pressure on calculation. What you get the initial pressure? It was 200, right? The initial volume is 2 cube. The final volume in the question it was given as 4. So if you calculate this, you can see here, this will be 200 into it. 2 cube means 8. 4 cube means what? 16 into with 4. I am writing so that it will be convenient for calculation. Now you see this is 4, 5 and 0. This is 8. How much? 2 to the 16. So two cancels 58, 25 times. So you will have this one 25 atmosphere. So the final pressure is what 25 atmosphere, right? So this was not that complicated. You can just calculate it very easily. Okay. So I'm writing here the answer. Answer once I'm repeating and writing a PF. We got it to be 25 atmosphere. So this is the answer. So we did nothing. We have just used the first law of thermodynamics. All right. Last question of this video. In this, it is said that in a thermodynamic process, the volume of one mole of an ideal gas. Okay, here you will have gas. It is varying as what V A to the power minus one. Means one mole of a gas in a thermodynamic process, the volume is varying as this. A is a constant. The adiabatic exponent is gamma. You need to calculate the amount of heat. Okay, which is received by the gas when the temperature of the gas is increasing by what delta T. So this is very simple. You can just use the first law of thermodynamics, which gives us the heat. Okay, Q is equals to what? Du plus W. First we will calculate W, then we will go to D. So we know the work done is equals to. The question is clear. Thermodynamic system is there. The volume is varying as a t to the power minus one. The adiabatic exponent is given to you. You just need to calculate the amount of heat received when the temperature of the gas is increasing by delta T, and the amount of heat received by the gas. Okay. So W is equal to what integration of P dV. You will have to substitute the value of P here and also dV. So firstly, you will see we are dealing with ideal gas. So we know that PV is equal to what n RT. That means PV will be equal to what RT because we are having one mole gas. This will give you P is equal to what RT by V. Okay. And in the question, you are already having V is equal to what V is equal to A by P, right? So if you substitute here v is equals to a by t, then you will get p is equals to what? P is equals to r t square by a. Now we will calculate dv from here. So dv is equals to what? A by minus t square will be there because when you will differentiate one by t, it will give you minus one by t square. Dt will be as it is. So just substitute the values here. You will have what? 
integration of r p square by a into it minus a by p square dv. A and a will get cancelled. P square and p square will cancel, and you will get w is equals to minus what r del p. Okay. Now we will see what we will see del u. We know that del u is equals to what n c v del t. So n is equals to one. So del u is equals to what c v del t. So you can write this particular term to be what c v del t is there, na? So you can write delta u to be equals to what? You can write it as r delta by gamma minus one. So how you can write cv is equals to this r by gamma minus one? This calculation we will see. You know that cp by cv it is equals to gamma, right? It is equals to gamma na. And you also know that cp by minus cv it is equals to what? Ah, uh, this is Mayer's equation. Okay. Now, if you see from this equation, you can write C P is equals to what? Gamma C V. So, if you substitute here, you can write gamma C V minus C V. It is equals to R. So, if you take C V common, you will have gamma minus one equals to R. So, this will give you what? C V is equals to R by gamma minus one. Okay. So, this is how we have substituted. Clear? Now, our main equation was what? Q is equals to what? W plus what? Del U. So Q will be equals to here what W is negative, so we can write here what minus R del T, okay minus R del T plus what you are having the value of delta U is R del T by what gamma minus one. Now here what you will take common R del T. Okay since W is negative, I will write it in the second term. Here I am writing one by gamma minus one minus one, right? This is Q. So Q will be equals to what? R del T is as it is. Here you are having what? Gamma minus one. So one minus gamma. Negative sign is there, so this will become plus. Okay. So finally you will get Q is equals to what? R del T. In the numerator, one plus one is what? Two minus gamma is as it is. In the denominator, you are having gamma minus one. So your answer is what? Q is equals to what? Q will be equals to R del T. Into it two minus gamma by gamma minus one. So your option is what? Correct option will be what? Option D. Okay. So you can see all the questions are based on the first law of thermodynamics. And one more thing I would like to say you here. Whenever you are reading the question, just read the question nicely. What type of gas you are you are dealing? You are you are dealing with ideal gas. So use the ideal gas equation. P V is equals to N R T. While reading the question, bring all the equations in your mind, and that will make you easy. Just Make a relationship between all of them, and then you can calculate. First, think what you need to calculate. Then think about what are the things given in the questions. Means what are the terms that will be equal to zero? What are the equations that you can use? Then relate these things, and then go and solve. This will clear your concept and make the problem much easier. Okay, so that's all. In the next video, we will have hardly two through three questions, so we will solve that, and with that, we will end with the thermodynamics just questions. Okay. So that's all. Thank you so much. Have a good day.